I look good? We ready? What's going on everybody and welcome to another video. Today we will be talking about the iPad Air 4th generation 2020. It's pretty dope. Let's talk about it. So what's going on everybody? Uh, it's, been, it's been a minute, but we're here, man. I'm here to have a good time. I'm here to just give you my, my honest opinion, my honest review um, on the iPad Air. It's something that I wanted to, to talk about. Um, and it's something now that I wanna, I wanna start doing, man. I, I, gotta, I gotta get myself you know, involved doing more videos and stuff. So I'm gonna try to aim to do some type of video like this, like a tech video review, you know, some of my, my opinion is on, on certain things, at least once a week. Um, I'm gonna aim to give you these videos once a week, give you some information, um, talk about tech, and you know, do little brief reviews here on top of uh, the Coffee Break episodes that if you haven't seen them, that'll be up in the description there. You can see those, um, uh, those Coffee Breaks. but. I wanted to do something different and uh, not different. A lot of people are doing it, but I want to give you my, my honest opinion on, on technology. Um, I'm a technologist myself, uh, work wise, you know, I do all types of support, but I thought it'd be cool. Maybe once a week, I give some, some, uh, some videos really quick about my take on certain pieces of technology. If you're interested in buying something or you're interested in an iPad or an iPhone or Galaxy, whatever, that you can um, tune into the channel and hear my reviews and see if they actually help you out with making your purchase. Um, with that being said, if you are new to the channel, I would advise you uppercut that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that little bell button as well, like that way you get notified. And it helps with the algorithm for YouTube. I'm trying to, you know, push out as many videos as possible um, to just, you know, get the channel going. It's difficult. We're living in some hard times. And doing a video sometimes is so difficult. But anyways, iPad, 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 iPad Air. Um, this iPad is pretty dope. It's thin. I just put a bunch of fingerprints on it, but it's sleek. It almost looks like the um, the iPhone, one, one of the old iPhone 4s or 5s that were like, the, the edges were like really nice and, and, you know, curved and stuff like that. It comes, I got this one in space gray. Uh, I was due for an iPad upgrade. I had, this is, this is the Air 4th generation. If you can see over here, this is the iPad Air 1. Um, it has this little, black ribbon here. This is actually an LTE service, so it has data connectivity on it. Um, the new iPad, I just got it with the just Wi-Fi. I was hardly using um, data services, especially with my phone. I can tether it um, and give it internet access whenever I needed to. So I just got the Wi-Fi one instead, right? So why am I doing this video, right? I'm doing this video because I know a lot of people go and people ask me, you know, what do you suggest? I'm looking for an iPad. I'm looking for a phone. I'm looking for a computer. I'm looking for this. I'm looking for that. What, what, what do you suggest? Right. And I try to give my honest opinions uh, uh, based on my own reviews, based on my own experience of using technology. Right. Um, all this stuff that I have and everything that I review, I purchase myself. Apple, Samsung, Sony does not send me anything. Um, so I try to always give my, my honest review on it and, and just talk about it. Right. So aesthetically, the air looks great. It's nice. It's super thin. Um, the has the latest software on it, right? Um, I, that, which was one thing that that I wasn't able to get um, on my old iPad Air. I've had this joint for oh my god for a long time, so I couldn't update it anymore to the um, the new OS to get the widgets and stuff like that. 
but um, I upgraded, man, and it's it, it was it was a good decision, right? Now, when I was looking at the iPads, right? They have the iPad, they have the iPad Air, they got the iPad Pro, and as I'm looking at these different iPads, I'm seeing this, you know, the specs, and they're almost, almost, almost the same, but the prices are drastically different. Like they're, it's crazy. It's out of, it's like three hundred dollars difference from this one to the iPad Pro. So what makes this one different than the iPad Pro? To be honest, not a lot. So if you're looking for an iPad and you want to get the iPad Pro, I would suggest you also look at the iPad Air, right? Now, if you're not going to be taking crazy videos and, and photos and stuff like that, which I don't know how many people do. If you do, leave it in the comments. Let me know. I would like to hear your, your opinions on that. But I use a camera to take photos and my phone probably takes better pictures than, than this and maybe the iPad Pro as well. But that's a major big difference between this one and the iPad Pro, right? The iPad Pro uses the Pencil 2. Um, this iPad Air also uses the Pencil 2. Um, it's, it's super fast, right? It's like, it's th this one, this one in itself, right? Is um, software version, again, like I said, is 14.4, 14 14.4.2 from this video. This is uh, the version I have it set. I got the 64 gigabyte version sometimes people think they need to buy the largest you know storage the one with the maximum you know uh, capacity but you really don't if you know how to manage your storage and you know that that this one actually especially has usb type c which is good because you can connect an external hard drive in here and just back up your data. You don't need to go into getting, you know, iCloud storage and paying an extra five bucks a, a, a month or whatever to increase the storage. So if you know how to manage your storage and, you know, back up your photos and stuff like that, you don't need to go with the most expensive uh, capacity of storage for the iPad, right? This has all the cool features. Like I said, it has the, the iPad um, a Pencil 2. It works with both one and two. Uh, which the iPad Pro also does. Now, there's a big difference with the iPad Pro, whereas it has the a bigger a bigger camera sensor. And I'll put you know the um, the comparisons on this video here, and you can just pause it and look at the comparisons if you want to. Um, but they right here, it's like, look at this. See that camera? It's almost a little bit bigger than than my phone camera. The if you look at the iPad Pro, it's it's more square. It's bigger, has a better sensor and whatnot. Like I said, if you're not gonna be doing photos and all this other, you know, the, taking pictures with it, which I still don't advise on the iPad anyway, um, you can save the money by getting an iPad Air for almost like $200, $300 difference, right? And you're getting all pretty much the pro features except for the camera. It's still fast, it still has the latest OS. This one actually I like because it not only has um uh ch -ch 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 what i what is i just lost my thought look at that so the ipad pro i believe it has the the facial recognition which is i'm, I'm not a big fan of that but the ipad air has on the top here it has a fingerprint right so they remove the button if you could see right here with the iPad Air 1 and even the new iPad, just the regular iPads, they also have uh, the button. Um, the newer ones have the fingerprint on the button itself. Um, but that that's that's what they did on this one. They put it on the top, which is cool. So it's like, are you going to turn it on? You just put your finger right on it and it unlocks it. Um, it opens it, it turns it on, but also it unlocks it because the fingerprint sensor is on the top. I like that they did it that way and it's just all screen all around, you know, as the, the speakers are really loud, like you can be watching this and, you know, hear it from both sides, left and right, because there's speakers on both sides of the iPad, right? So the iPad Air is pretty simple, right? It's either you want an iPad or you don't want an iPad. If you're an iPhone or Apple user, you already know that the iPad is just a bigger version of your iPhone, right? It has all the same apps and features and stuff like that, um, but it gives you that ability 
to draw, which is amazing for creative people, right? Which I, I love. I'm a creative person and the pencil is pretty cool. But my overall review on this thing is just, it's great. I think it's a good iPad. I think it's nice. And I think if you're looking for, for some, you know, pro features as far as performance, sleekness, you know, um, some hardware differences, USB type C and whatnot, then I would go with the iPad Air instead of the iPad Pro. That's just my opinion. That's what I did, right? And if you haven't seen yet, Apple just announced and released a new iPad, another version, another iPad um, Pro, right? With the M1 chip, which is, I'm a big fan of the M1. In the beginning, it was a little bit uh, uh, tricky to get used to the M1 as far as compatibility, but that could be another video. But it does have an M1 chip, and I'm excited about that because that lets me believe that maybe they might be able to put um, MacBook Pro laptop applications on the iPads. If they do that, Apple, that would be awesome. I've been waiting for something like that for a long time to maybe have Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, um, applications that usually are only for MacBook Pros and Mac desktops. Uh, so if the M1 is on the iPad, then that's a really good thing. So if you're also in looking for an iPad and you wanna hold on a bit, the M1 is coming out and that's something that you wanna pay maybe like, you know, $100 more. This one was $545, I believe. Uh, the new iPad M1, I think is like 700 bucks for the, for the lowest uh, capacity one. Which is, which is still good because this one is the lowest capacity, 64 gigs, 541. The other one, which is uh, the new one that's coming out, M1, is at the lowest capacity is of storage would be 128 gigabytes. So um, that's good. So this is my this is my take on it, man. If you're if you're if you're wanting an iPad Pro and you just like stuck with wanting to get an iPad Pro, or you just want to upgrade your iPad like I did. I've had it for so long and I haven't been able to upgrade it because the limitation on software and it, it's no longer um, capable of being updated anymore. So I had to go in and get a new one. Um, but if you're in the market for an iPad and you've been looking at the iPad Pro because it's like they're promoting all these pro features look at the ipad air you're probably going to get most of mostly everything that's on that pro besides the camera as i said um for a cheaper price and it's it's dope it's awesome it also works with the with the case um with the keyboard and stuff like that i i went another route um and i i got a a, a zag z a double g they used to do a lot of like um um well they do shields for the iPads and stuff and they made a pretty cool uh, case slash keyboard that's pretty dope um, backlit keys um, it's really sturdy and strong has a little weight to it but but it's all good um, it has a section for the uh, iPad pencil um, and it's 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 also a cool case and it's almost half the price of the Apple version um, which is a case and a keyboard that doesn't even protect the Apple Pencil once you get it on there. Um, it's still, you know, easy. It could fall out easy and stuff like that. So listen, I think this is this is a, a, a good buy. Um, it's an awesome device. iPads have, have always been dope. Um, and if you're in the lookout for it, man, I'm going to have everything in the description there and hopefully... You can get one and let me know what 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 your take is on right let, let, let me know what 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 you think about this let me know if you're gonna get the m1 instead and you're gonna just wait a couple of weeks and get that one instead um if if you have an old ipad and you don't know which one to get let me know which old ipad you do have and maybe i can give you even a better suggestion maybe you can just get the regular ipad and save even another 200 bucks on it if you want um but let me know in the description let me know what ipad you have if you don't have an ipad bingo um if you do have an old ipad let me know and maybe i can suggest you another the the one below this one which will probably could work for you um but yeah man so Thank you for watching this video and like it, share it, subscribe to it, 
hit that little bell icon so every time I drop a video, you're always aware that a new video is out. Like I said, I'm gonna try to be um, dropping a video every single week, uh, doing little reviews on, on technology, gadgets, and maybe just, just talking, how about that? Just giving you some information, just giving my, my opinions on things. Um, hopefully it helps you out in one way, shape, or form. Um, but with that being said, thank you for tuning in. And like every single video, never settle with being good when you have been meant to be great. Later.